We're back, correct opinions, uh, and we're all growing up. We're getting houses, we're getting wives. Jake. Woo! Yep. I, I got married. That's right. That's right. He's married. <laughs> we're happy for him. I think that's Something what like I did. Yeah. It's my first time doing I it. I think so. I don't know what I asked her to be exactly. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll dive into that and much more. Thanks for coming back, y'all. Uh, enjoy this episode. Like, subscribe, give us five stars. Uh, let's roll music. Correct opinion. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Therapy Online. Oh, I'm stuck. 127 hours style. Oh. In my mind. It feels like I need to cut off my uh, mental arm. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> that nerve's going to sting. <laughs> but with BetterHelp Online Therapy, you can help get unstuck. Because life, you know, it doesn't come with a user, manual, user S- manual. Sometimes the nerve of life stings. Yes, absolutely. And BetterHelp helps. I've done therapy. Uh, it's helped me really figure out some deals I, I was like dealing with. And better helps doing it secure, online, convenient. You got to try it. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Just get in there. You're going to be matched very quickly with a licensed therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash correct. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash correct. Jake, co-host, this is the, uh, our favorite little goblin. <laughs> Found his goblinette. <laughs> no offense, Rachel. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She doesn't look like a goblin. No, I don't think yeah. she. I mean, uh, I don't. She doesn't mind. Yeah. You can call okay. Her. Okay. Um, but yeah, I found my little goblinette. That's great. Uh, yeah. Congrats. Met her, met her on the pickleball courts about a year ago and uh, took her to the same park. Not on the pickleball courts. Um, I didn't propose to her in the kitchen or anything. Right. Um, it was it was a park with like water and stuff. Okay. It okay. looks very nice. Not fall just the trees. Like, could it, Gladys, could you hold? Dean, can you not serve for a second? I've got to. Sorry, just real quick here. <laughs> just, and, uh, you know, from the day I first met you, and I was like, <laughs> like, could you hold? Okay, we did it. Beautiful park. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I saw someone commented. They're like. Whoa, congratulations. So does this mean Rachel joins Correct Opinions now? I like, love what people come up with. Like, like yes, she's going to quit kind of her okay. career, what she's got going on. Podcaster now. Yeah, that's so yeah. cool you married Katie's sister. <laughs> <laughs> Happy for you guys. Like, I whoa, guess you had whoa. to divorce Lindsay or Morgan to make right. this happen. So the whole ordeal. We're either related or married or, uh-huh. yeah. I used to I used to date Derek. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. all related somehow. You had asked Rachel's, here. Yeah. <laughs> had asked Rachel's dad for his blessing, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a whole. <laughs> no, he took it well. That's uh, so it was funny. fun. It was fun. Uh, I might have been just as nervous asking for the blessing as I was asking <clears throat> for the the actual hand in marriage. It is, I mean, it's a cool experience, but it feels good. It's a nice exhale, right? Yeah, it's, it was it's like pretty overwhelming. I know <laughs> the weeks. answer I'm going to get. I know that her parents love me. I know that we're all good, but it's like still just starting that conversation. Like, all right, we just got done golfing. How do I transition into, I would like to spend the rest of my life with your daughter. Right. I, you know, there's just not like an easy, like ramp up to more serious mm-hmm. things. It just went straight from like, yeah, that the greens were tricky today. I got a question, Steve. Um, <laughs> yeah. You'll be happy to know. You just kind of do that one thing and then you're right back to just like, uh, the, the Cowboys this year. <laughs> so it's nice. I had to be intimate with my father-in-law once, never again. Good. Yes. Get it out of the way. <laughs> now we just we have nice, band-aid. pleasant combos. Yes, yes, yes. After we had the it's conversation, good. which this would have been months ago or whatever, but it was like, great, full conversation. He's like, all right, awesome, Jake. Let's let's get inside. And he's like, wait, so I, we didn't talk about So like, don't tell anyone? And I was like, no, you should definitely like tell your wife, right? Like, <laughs> like definitely <laughs> tell her. Tell her. And like, you can tell, I, you tell whoever you want. Just don't tell Rachel, right? Mm-hmm. Like, it was just so funny to me that he was just like, I, I won't tell anyone if you don't want. Mm-hmm. I'll die before I tell anyone. <laughs> I was like, no, you could probably tell Angie. <laughs> Maybe some of your family. I don't know. by her. Yeah, it was great. He was sworn to secrecy. So He just hits you up the next week. He's like, this is kind of why I didn't want to tell her, but she actually is not cool with it. <laughs> so I don't know what that throws a wrinkle in your plans. But I won't tell anyone that this is all going yeah. on. All right. You got my word. So I told her I made it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's awesome, man. Congrats. Yes. That's, yeah. that's Congrats. A great. Uh, Super exciting. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. When did Do you remember back? When did you propose, Derek? How many years ago was that? Why do you got to do that to me? Oh, man. <laughs> it's uh, not that long ago. Five, we got married five years ago. Okay. So Derek's just going off what he knows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Work backwards. You, you can text I, her if you need to. Yeah. I proposed uh, at the Kaufman Center. We had a 
Ooh, oh, nice, beautiful. Nice. I've, yeah, I've seen pretty. a couple people do that. If you guys are not from Kansas City, Derek said the Coffin Center. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's a funeral home, mm, yes. uh, yeah. but it's a nice one. I'm gonna I'm gonna be with you till we're here. Till death do us part. <laughs> it's romantic. I did drop the green the the ring and grass right mm. before I asked. So then she saw me like fumbling around trying to find it. Right. It was like he's very in touch very with the spirits. Yes. <laughs> it's like oh, we're gonna be buried right here. Right here. <laughs> this is like, the plot. What kind of grass is this? I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> She knew exactly what I was doing. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's great. Trey, yeah. when did you propose? Mm-hmm. Lit. <coughs> oh, excuse me. September 2nd oh, gosh. of 2019. Good job. I have to think a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of times when like we first met in 2018. Yes. Yeah. Good, good times. Good job. <laughs> good, good job. times. <laughs> Man, it's weird. Getting old. I've, I've, I'm, I'm hitting my third year old crisis, I think. He really is. He's asked me like probably four times in the past, you know, two weeks, do we look old? <laughs> we do. Somebody, <laughs> but I like that he says we, not just like do uh, I. Together. We've <laughs> do, established you do, do but <laughs> am I catching up to you? I, I've just, in the past couple, in the past couple weeks, I had a buddy send like, I'm starting to get like, we all have that friend who's still on the time hop app. Oh yeah. yeah, he's like, check this out. This was us five years ago on Halloween. Like, there's a difference in my face. Oh, there I is. See, I there see. is. So you think it's like physically how your body changes? I don't know if it was like you're at a tailgate and you're like, oh, these people seem younger than us. No, you're my so, face. Just you're how you look. <laughs> my face yeah. and the, the hairs connected is to it. Forming in the face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, all, all right, another buddy. They're like, dude, I was looking through our group message and our fantasy football and found this gym of videos from like three years ago. Oh, don't send me that. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. I'm happy with it. I'm about to turn 30. Are you happy with it? I feel like there's more to this. No, I, I feel like there's a crisis coming. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I did it too. It's fine. I'll get you through it. Yeah. Just, we're all 30, but you. Yeah. Just comment below that I'm uh, handsome. Yeah. Please. He Young. Needs, he Young. Needs some <laughs> alabaster Need skin. When you shave the beard, you take off five years of your oh, life. Oh, thanks for like, noticing. That was yeah. part of the crisis. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I trimmed the beard maybe. That was why. It really does take mm -hmm. off like, several years. That is funny. And I'm kind of like, well, I don't want you to look way younger than me. <laughs> That's you it. Know? I'm about to start going uh, just a straight razor shave every morning. I don't, Keep I it young. Truly, I don't think I've ever seen you with a straight razor sa shave. I did it that one time. It wasn't a straight razor, but it was down to nothing. It was, yeah, but there was still like a little stubble. Who, do, very few people do that these days. Well, these guys do. You, you guys take a razor or what are, what are we using? Electric razor. Mm. Yeah. Those sh tear my skin to bits. Oh, really? Like yeah. irritate it? Yeah. Mm. I've never been able. Are you a razor guy, Derek? Or? Uh, Dollar Shave Club still. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> if they want to sponsor. Yeah, Katie? sponsor her. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, just razor to the face usually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Girls yeah. do that though, right? That actually dermaplaning is a thing now. Yeah. Is that what you do? We just call it something different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like <laughs> girls dermaplane. Like you're just, you're shaving like shaving the rest of them. I actually had that done like <laughs> twice to my face where they just take off all the peach fuzz. And I mean, it feels nice, but also. Hair. <laughs> but that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. A little yeah. blonde. But I'm just like. Beard. <laughs> yes. I shave we my beard. We dermaplane our peach fuzz. You're shaving your beard. <laughs> I wasn't a huge fan. Mm. I was just like, you I like to have the scruff. I prefer the scruff. I <laughs> okay. think it ages me well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just like no, you. I think it's hot. Yeah. Well, that peach fuzz has been growing for you know twenty five years, so it's it's kind of smooth, and then you shave it, and then it's kind of rough again. Mm -hmm. Right. Know? I'm not trying to get like a rough face here. So you're like kissing Trey. He's like ah scratchy. Yeah. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> She's cuddled up. Ah, give it another couple of days. <laughs> So scratchy, it irritates my skin. Like you're, I'm kissing an electric razor right now. Yeah, that's thir This is thirty. We're all shaving our beards to yeah. look younger. Uh, let's get to some. Uh, we love our comments and videos from fans. Uh, hit up the Correct Pains Instagram and send in your video submissions. We can play your sweet, lovely face and voice. Unless you're over thirty, we won't play your face. <laughs> Make sure you shave. Just kidding. You need to be an Olympic yeah. athlete, too. Olympic athlete. That's right. Or hopeful. Bring an animal into it, but introduce the animal. Let us know the horse's name, please. Uh, but everyone, lots. Of, thanks for blowing up the YouTube comment section. Always go subscribe. Check out us out, check us out on YouTube. A lot of people liking Katie's performance last week. Yep. I was in tears from laughing so hard when Katie was reading the baby size comparisons. Katie had me dying through the episode. The boys were just okay. <laughs> 
Uh, Joanne said, my first pregnancy brain moment, putting a leftover pork chop in the cupboard. Oh. Uh, fast forward a few kids, and I'm leaving the stroller behind the van after a walk with a friend. Oh, no. That's how she knew I was pregnant with the next one. So <laughs> that's actually kind of cool. So you might not need to get pregnancy tests after a few. You just start doing the most idiotic things yeah. <laughs> in public. Great. And you're like, you might be pregnant. That's so. awesome. Can't wait. Thanks, Joanne. <laughs> um... Someone said, quote, I love women's rights, but I kind of miss when our culture made y'all cook for us. <laughs> I, did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> you did. Yeah. That was in the skit. Yep. Mm. Uh, Michaela, for me, I have to say, Jake, you're not wrong when it comes to the adrenaline from giving birth. I just like to say I know a ton about <laughs> uh, Miracle of Life, childbirth, the, the entire NICU ward of the hospital. I feel very knowledgeable about so. You're welcome. Just guys, Do you let think me know. that you give birth in the NICU? No, I okay. know that okay. some women <laughs> want to give birth in a hospital with a NICU. Good job. Good, oh. good job. Okay. And that is it. Don't ask me Have a single okay, follow-up okay. question. <laughs> and you know that as in that's what Rachel said? I, yeah, I'm sure I'm regurgitating this for something. I don't know where, but uh, uh-huh. could have been Katie, honestly. It probably oh, was, it was me, Katie, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> She's real fired up about that. I have a couple of friends who What are if it's born with an extra arm? NICU can chop that right off. Uh, it's amazing what NICU can do. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. Rachel almost chopped a finger off recently and had to get a bunch of stitches in. And so she was like... She went to the NICU? Yeah. So she's like, she got tiny hands. I just measured her finger, so I know. Uh, but, you know, we went to like urgent care. They stitch her up. And it was weird. Even urgent care was like, and in 10 days, remove them. But we're just going to charge you. So just have like a nurse friend remove them. I was like, interesting that that was like just suggested. But okay, we'll do it. So Rachel's like, yeah, I got this nurse friend. And then it didn't go super well. We had to go back to urgent care. And like, who did this? And we're like, oh, our friend, whatever. She's a nurse. And like... What kind of nurse? And it's like, Nick, you? And they're like, <laughs> well, that's what you get. That's what you get. Well, don't, they should have put, had parameters on the type of nurse that <laughs> yeah. can remove I mean, adult stitches. there are stitches. lots right? of types of nurses. I just thought it was, you got a nursing degree, you can remove stitches. They're I like, guess. what kind of nurse was it? You're like, sexy. Like, <laughs> that's not. It's like a Halloween <laughs> yeah, low cut. I, <laughs> I don't know. Gotta have, yeah, gotta have a Nick. Nick, you's important though. Uh, Tatma Lockney? Tatma? Oh, Tatma, Tatma. Yeah, Tatma, yeah, yeah. Tatma, yeah. Yeah. The home birth. No NICU in sight. Mm-hmm. More than 500 miles. Yeah, the NICU just looks after newborns, right? Yeah, sick newborns or or sick babies in general. Cool. They don't have to be... Sick you is what they should call it. Yeah. How long can you be in there? Like, how long are you no longer a newborn? What's the deadline? What's right. the cutoff? Two weeks? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's not that. It's still a so sick baby. So I feel like with all within the first at least six months... Sometimes I'm a little oh. baby. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Could I get it? Could I get it submitted? No. <laughs> Alice <laughs> asked, "Where's the merch?" It's live, baby. Thanks for everyone who's already bought some. We've got a few left. Crewnecks, t-shirts. Get them before they're gone. Um, at, the, at my website, tra- store dot or treykennedy.com slash shop. There's multiple ways to get there. treykennedy.com slash shop. You'll see the correct opinions merch. And all of the merch from all of the channels. It's very exciting. Girls, jeans, moods, all mm-hmm. of them. So please check it out. Get you some. Um, and then people were asking about the Fall Girl video. It is live. That one was very fun. Jake crushed it as always. So did Katie. So did all the girls. Very pleasantly surprised. I put it on very quickly on social. Like, need some girls to show up. And, you know, immediately a bunch were like, yes, but you don't know if they're actually going to show up. And they, they showed up. Yeah, they did. And I saw, thankfully, a certain person showed up because I saw one of the top comments on Facebook was like kind of trying to nag you for not having enough diversity in the photo, Mm -hmm. which for one, I mean, you put an open call like, Hey, anyone be in a video. It wasn't like you like chose like you, you, you. It's like my bachelor bet in the show where they're like, why isn't there more black people in this? I'm like, maybe a white girl thing. I don't know. They have (laughs) other stuff better to do, but we had diversity. Did you see me? Comment back. Yeah, yeah I loved was awesome. It. You like zoomed in on the <laughs> oh, mixed <like>, girl. <laughs> oh, let me see how people responded to that. I don't think I even saw. I posted the photo like "Get ready, video coming," and there was a top comment like, "I, I mean, I appreciate this, but we need diversity." Zoomed in on the mixed girl. Said we had a baby. We had a little mocha up in there, a little spice. Maybe that. Maybe that is another video. What video? Should we just do a video where I'm? It's me and like thirty black girls. <laughs> what, what would that video people be? People suggested that. That'd be maybe. hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> That would get no backlash. That would look totally normal. That's mm-hmm. what the top comment wants. Mm-hmm. You did ratio her. Last time I saw you had way more likes. And oh, I ratioed so her? Good yes. job. Good job. Let's go. But that one was fun. 
so yes, go subscribe to the YouTube, comment, uh, send us your video questions on the Instagram, and we'll we'll play it on the pod. All right. If you have any questions about uh, childhood, infancy, giving birth. Ask Jake's him. the guy. Yeah. yeah, just DM, DM him. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to take it to the podcast. We can just chat. One he's on the one. first ever yeah. goblin to make it out of the NICU, <laughs> and he's thriving. Yeah, kind of like um, you know, uh, uh, in the movie, um, the Grinch, the Jim Carrey Grinch, when he was a little kid. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> we we were talking about the Grinch this weekend, and I I've never noticed this little subtle adult humor, but apparently. Early in that movie, when they're having the little party and the Grinch is stuck in the tree, it's a swingers party. Oh, is it really? They all put their keys in a bowl. What? Wait, no I mean, way. that's just what you do when you... Wait, what do keys in a bowl mean? Hold on. You pick a key and whoever keys... You're like, that's... who's driving the Cadillac? It's... You're about to drive the... Put it in Katie's. reverse. Oh. Oh, my. Well, so a bunch of girls are named Katie, not you. We aren't... No, we didn't... <laughs> So that's how it works. So that's how we got the idea. The keys, okay. <laughs> <laughs> keys in a bowl. It's like, all right, my turn to choose. Whose car keys are this? Let's go. Like, mm-hmm. look. Yep. oh, interesting. Yep. In the car, or just that's just. <laughs> what do you the... need the key? Who uses the keys? And yeah. where we're at? Um, What's the ignition I, in this I situation? I don't know the details. <laughs> but yeah, the who's it's push to start. Is that going to be an issue? Yeah. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> the who's they're they're getting freaky in that little snowflake. And uh, there's really? a comment that's like some one of the babies is born and it's like this looks like the mailman or they something. They make a subtle joke. Yeah. Like, yeah. So the Grinch the Grinch was mixed up in all that somehow. I don't know. No huh. wonder. <laughs> no wonder. He had a beard when he was six and he was going to swingers parties. Yeah. Over he had the derma playing his peach fuzz. Big time. Big time. It, it, it didn't tissues. go, yeah, it didn't go well for him. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, all the kids are just really laughed in his face. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I am, I'm just, I'm going to be sick the rest of my life, by the way. Mm. Yeah, There's what variant some, do you have? Uh, BA, uh, six, five. I thought you were just going to say BABY. <laughs> <laughs> that that would have been better. Yeah, that would have been better. Uh, I want to talk about all this Halloween, Christmas. What, do y'all see some great Halloween costumes over the weekend? Um, kind of. Uh, I, I had to go to Home Depot this morning. And what's funny is it didn't even register. So the woman helping me is just full on in like a, I don't know, like a cowgirl costume. I love costume. that you get, you get married and just like Monday, Home Depot. <laughs> Home Depot, yeah, <laughs> I, I know. This is right, right? I'm not married. <laughs> yeah. We are engaged. We've never set foot in this. <laughs> Yeah, um, which the whole house project, that's going to come back up in the triggered segment. So don't touch that dial. Mm. But no, I went to Home Depot and I don't know why. I guess they just don't go to Home Depot that much. But she's it's just in like a, I don't know, Annie Oakley type costume. And it didn't even like alarm me that it was Halloween. It wasn't like, oh, yeah, it's Halloween. It was like, this is just the employee helping me. And then like 10 minutes later, then someone else is in like a witch costume. And I was like, ah, you know what? I bet she doesn't wear a leather skirt to work every day. This is Halloween. That, <laughs> um, so then it got, it became kind of funny. Uh, however, the man who ended up having to help, uh, which, by the way, some people, they're like, I don't need help, Home Depot. Me, I'm, I'm gathering all, everyone. Help! Can, can everyone please help me and make this go as fast as possible? There was a guy with an eye patch, no other costume, working in the lumber department with an eye patch. Was it a costume or not? I wanted to be like, oh, you pirate? Yeah. <laughs> Got the peg leg and all. It's like, I just installed it for real, you jerk. This is a two by four. I work in aisle 20. Two tours. So, I, that, that, is a, that is a tough, I feel like today in age, it's tough. You see like, a, you walk, I went to my coffee shop recently. The woman has like purple hair and like, you know, like tights all over her body. I'm like, ah, what are we this year? She's like, what do you mean, what am I this year? Like, oh, don't tell me. Munchkin from Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Is that it? Oh. No? Adam's family. <laughs> yeah. I did go. I got my coffee this morning, and the guy working was a ghost. He had a big sheet on with just three holes. Mm, point and I was like, really? <laughs> a ghost. <laughs> yeah. He yeah, was a ghost. <laughs> it was pointy. Uh, that seems he really was turning away certain customers. Making coffee with oh, a big sheet. It was on. hilarious. He was like, yeah, "I'm kind of struggling, man." But excuse me, <laughs> committed it, to it. Was this friend a wizard? The grand? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, a lot of costumes. We didn't dress up. Uh, no. Did you? 
You get a no, Halloween? No, I've been, I haven't yeah. done that in years and years. But we could still tonight. There's still a possibility to paint my, you know, belly as oh, yeah. something. It is Halloween when we're recording True. this. So yeah. anything goes. When you okay. said uh, purple hair, it reminded me um, the day I proposed to Rachel uh, was crazy hair day at the school she was teaching at. So I was a little nervous. Crazy hair day. Uh, what? I was like, how much spirit does this girl have? Uh, she's going to show up to the proposal. I'm like, look, it's bright green. I'm like, okay, <laughs> you got that school spirit, don't Woo! you? Good thing you're like, you can like Photoshop and stuff. You could have just, you know, uh, taken yeah, that yeah. right out. If you had any. <laughs> Green's an easy color to get out. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's, there's a green screen. Yeah. She uh, dropped that on me about Thursday at 9 p.m. She's like, oh, I forgot to tell you, tomorrow on Spirit Day is crazy hair day. I was like, oh, well, pigtails are pretty crazy. You probably don't want to do anything crazier than that. Yeah. Pigtails. You don't want to have whoa. too much school spirit. I see someone with pigtails. You, could, like, you could crimp it. Remember when that was cool? <laughs> whoa. Ooh, what, if, what if you curled it? That would be, that would have the most school spirit. D- uh, crazy hair day. That. What all the what do you what were all the dress up days this week? Did you hear these? Because it's I'm thinking back to my days. I mean, when I was in high school, we had gender bender day. <laughs> what? Where everyone flipped genders. <laughs> gender bender. Uh huh. They probably don't do that anymore. Uh, they actually, my senior year, they're like, we're not going to do gender bender. I remember people being like, this is ridiculous. We can't people, cross dress for fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people fighting for it. Yeah, yeah. This is, I love how it's like, it's probably like the strongest men. Like, you're going to let my boy dress like a woman. <laughs> I'm going to do all this woke stuff. Cameron <laughs> will look like a woman every Wednesday of Spirit Week. That is perfectly ironic, is it not? Right. Just like, as long as it's under the banner of Spirit Week, then it becomes very uh, liberal to dress how you would normally dress. You know, yeah, to be yeah. a man. So very but confusing. if you want to compete as a woman, mm-hmm. then that's where you draw. No, right. no, no, no. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Is it gender bender week and swim competition? <laughs> Otherwise, like this is confusing. Yeah, that is. I'm proud to say I only, there were some dudes who get way into it, you know. I mean, put on a full dress and like drag. Dude. I don't think I participate in gender bender. I only heard the tail end of the story. My dad was telling a story to like everyone this weekend, but when he was, uh, I think it was some sort of spirit week thing, I think is how the story got started. When he was a freshman, that was a thing that like all the, uh, the freshman boys on the football team would have to like wear like women's clothing one day or whatever. And so some of his friends told him his senior year, they're like, hey, it's a tradition uh, on like your last day, senior year, all the guys uh, show up in a dress again. And my dad was like, all right, great. And so he is like, he's found this dress from like a thrift store or something. And he's like putting it on. And luckily his mom was like, as on his way to school, was like, Steve, why don't you just bring the dress? And then you can put it on if the other boys are wearing a dress. And my dad's like, no, no, no. They all they all told me to wear the dress. I got it tailored. It, <laughs> it's beautiful. And so he said, luckily, his mom did convince him to bring the dress. And yet not a single other person was wearing it. And he was like, I was fully ready. Like, yeah, you say dress. I say, you know, how short? <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, crazy hair day. That So that's, that's allowed? I feel like that even could I, ruffle It's some definitely feathers. been cut out of a lot of spirit weeks. Crazy hair day? Yeah. Because what, what could you do that's offensive? Why are you offended, Katie? Tell us. I mean, because some people's like crazy hairstyles are people's like normal or culturally appropriate hairstyles. Or, you know, they, mm. so that it's kind of offensive to say this is crazy when it's just someone's normal. Love the idea of all these kids just like, just purposely trying to make everything just as f- offensive as possible. Like crazy hair day. I buzz swastikas into my head. <laughs> They're like, whoa. But you can't see. I'm going to cover it up with a yarmulke. Uh-huh. So you can't so gonna take it off. <laughs> kind of a which side is he on thing. This is just what I've Katie, sh- Katie showing up on her five o'clock shadow. It's confusing. <laughs> Crazy hair day. Confusing. You know, it's funny that you said you didn't participate in gender bender when you do that for a living now. <laughs> you saved yes. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I'm trying to bring it back. <laughs> yeah. I email the local public schools every year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I think you should take a look. Gender bender can be very lucrative You're if you film it. If you film inspiring it, inspiring a lot of a lot of boys these you. days in cardigans and scarves. <laughs> well, I feel like it almost could come back, right? Because back then it's like clearly you shouldn't do this, and now it's kind of like, yeah, if boys want to wear a dress, dresses are for go anyone. for it. So yeah. maybe it's coming back, kind of like you know, wallpaper was out and back, and now it's, now it's back, back in. in. Mm-hmm. I think that's where we're headed, and I'm proud to be at the forefront of that. I remember one of it was something like. Each class had their own separate, I don't know, thing. And my, my class was <laughs> zoo animals. Okay. Ooh. And Were you giraffe? Obviously. Really? <laughs> obviously. <laughs> you knew your role. Was this spirit day or is this just? Just a, any old day. No, okay. I'm just kidding. It was spirit week. Okay. okay. How would you dress like a giraffe? I wore super tall high heels just to give it a little extra. Mm-hmm. Wow. So it was a good 6'4". <laughs> 
And I had a yellow shirt that I put spots on and had the ears. And How adorable. I was a pretty convincing giraffe. By the way, any girls do this? I don't know if Derek, now Jake, how I, Katie's got her own closet that I've rarely even looked into. And I walked <laughs> in the other day and I was talking to her and I happened to peer up and she's got eight pairs of like six inch high heel <laughs> of like the same color. I'm like, are you, what are you, are you doing something with those when I'm like out of town or something? Like, why do we have those? From the life before. Yeah. She's like, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to get rid of them. Like, like, get rid time. of these. Giraffe when I was in ninth grade. <laughs> giraffe when I was in tenth grade. My feet were still growing. Giraffe when I was in twelfth grade. So I know these. Some of these girls. I need to. I feel like I do a decent job. I got to clean out the closet. The ladies. She can't get rid. of She has eighty three pairs of jeans. <laughs> no, it's I don't. Unbelievable. No, I don't. It really is. No, I don't. But uh, so what? What could? What literally? What could crazy hair be? That's not. Is it more like a like cultural appropriation would be maybe like cornrows yeah. or afro? I mean, afro is hard right. to just pull off all of a sudden. I don't. Yeah. I don't really know the details. This is just you know I've heard. That's the fair, yeah. Or they're just, just like, like do it's a just turban rude. or something. Like they're just like I'm gonna I'm gonna cut my hair into bangs. Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> I mean, your teacher just shows up wearing that. Yeah. Like okay, that's a that's offensive. How? Yeah. What do the do boys do? I guess they just do a. Like you put Silly like, mohawk. Or? Yeah, fake colors in it or something. I don't know. Hmm. Do you know what are other spirit days happening? Did you catch that? I'm trying to think what else she said. I know one day was like school spirit day. Great. Got to do that. That probably should have been on the Friday of the football game. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. That's that's their bad. <clears throat> uh, Did they do pajama day? Because uh, that's, that's my classic, least favorite. Like, but that, that is, is lame. weird. Well, now now the style is we basically all wearing pajamas all the time. Yeah, especially high schoolers. Like I feel like they just right? wear sweats. <clears throat> or like jeans now or like PJs. Get these jeans. They look like jeans, but they're made of spandex and cotton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are awesome. Yeah, those are. kind of like what I'm wearing now. It's got the elastic on the sides. It's, it yeah. is. Yeah. The, the pregnant clothes are pretty funny. It's pajama day every day when mm -hmm. you're pregnant. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I don't remember what else they had. Yeah, I, sh I should have paid more attention. I'm sorry. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Therapy Online. You bet it is. Oh, Jake, I think I know what I need this time of year. Ooh, cardigan? Yep. Jacket? Yep. Uh, Therapy. Help with problem solving skills. Yes, ex absolutely. <laughs> uh, life doesn't come with a user manual, y'all. Nope. So when it's not working for you, it's normal to feel stuck. You feel, you know, you're confused. But BetterHelp has connected over 3 million people with licensed therapists. They have a license. Yep. Convenient, secure, and accessible anywhere. It's 100% online. I've been in therapy before. It helped me work out at some of the things I would do, you know, just some stress or anxiety. Uh, therapy can be a great, great tool. And BetterHelp is changing the game. They're doing it all secure online. I've got a roommate. Uh, and he has used BetterHelp before, used it for months and months, and had nothing but good things to say about it. So uh, if you trust me and I trust him, transitive property, you could trust BetterHelp. Yeah, think about it. Uh, get unstuck with BetterHelp. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash correct. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash correct. Is it Christmas time? Uh, not for me, no. When is a f When does Christmas season start for you? I think post-Thanksgiving. Yeah. It just I, I wanted I, to, should we get the tree up, Katie? No, no. Why not? No, too early. No. I'm kind of a post Thanksgiving too. I'm like a, I'm I'm got like a day after Thanksgiving. Like I want it to be soon, but I don't want to gloss over Thanksgiving. <clears throat> Something I just thought of. This is a new new opinion. Uh, but I would be willing to budge if we put up the tree on the day of that you fall back like daylight savings because that's such a sad day that's such a bummer mm. that you got to brighten it up with literally with a christmas tree it's the only time i would do it before thanksgiving daylight savings yeah when is that it's a couple no, sundays november 6th next this upcoming sunday didn't they send it through the <coughs> senate to get rid of it or to keep it so oh. that it never changed and then nothing happened that's to right. it yeah they what were they just yeah well our government i did hear and it kind of makes sense i guess there's kind of good news while why they do it because um it, it's like if they if they got rid of daylight savings then you're having these kids like show up to their 7 30 first period i mean the sun won't come up to like 9 15 or something so i guess there's all this maybe mm. argument of like that would even make these kids getting up more difficult and put them at more of a disadvantage i don't know we kept them home for two years mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i saw i did see a tweet of someone there they're saying like 
hey, your kids' uh, Halloween costumes can't have a mask because it's distracting. Or <laughs> I saw a viral tweet of that. They're like, this was a real message sent to us from our school. <laughs> that is kind of interesting. That's funny. Uh, but I'm all, I, I, I don't know. What, obviously, the sun setting at like 4.30 is horrible, but would it be equally, wouldn't it be equally as horrible as if it was dark until like 9 a.m.? Yeah, I guess those are the options, right? We only have right. like limited daylight. How do you want to shift it? It's just we should just hang it up for the few months. Can regardless. we just yeah go somewhere tropical? Could we I meet mean, in the middle. Thirty minutes difference. Thirty minutes. Yeah, thirty oh, minutes. There we go. That's Brilliant. Not confusing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I want to do Christmas. I think we get it going. Why not? I think we did maybe put it up a little early no. last year because we were gone so much. Well, I'm excited. We're back to a fake tree this year. No, we're not. Because Katie didn't uh, no, pull the deal. No, uh, listen clearly, Recties. Watch. La- watch. I'm going to be watch. seven months pregnant okay. uh, getting uh, a uh, Christmas uh, tree uh, by myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's what I'm we, doing. I've, I've been a... Fr- you remember this. I'm a big believer. I'm the president of the fake tree gang. Just throw up the fake tree. Katie's... We got to have the real one. So the past two Christmases, we've run up, grabbed a f- uh, real one. I remember the first time we did it, She's immediately looking at like 12 foot trees. I mean, our ceilings are <laughs> nine feet tall. I want know, a I, big Christmas tree. <laughs> it was like our ceilings are maybe nine feet tall. We can get like a seven, but you put the star on it, you put a base of seven. And she was, so she was immediately like, what's the point of this anyway? We got it. And this past year, uh, the deal, I remember the first year we did it, we were clueless. Like, what do you do with this literal tree yeah. after Christmas? We live in the city. It's kind of hard. So There's we like a city pickup day that I missed. Well, the first year we kind of we figured out together, but the yeah. last year I was like, okay, if I'll go, we'll get this whole tree, but we gotta get rid of it properly. And she's like, I got it, I got it. I was like, okay, if you don't get rid of the tree, there goes the real tree thing. That's our deal. And we had that tree in our backyard. Until July. Well, to be fair, until we were on I tour until finally, May. So it was... I went back there with a saw and like cut it up into little logs and just like stuffed it in a trash bag and threw it into the which is I not get. good. You uh, shouldn't do that. Right, but I mean, uh, so yeah, no real tree this year. No worries, Don't y'all I'm agree? still gonna get it. <laughs> yeah, <just seven> months, <laughs> she's be holding that thing out of Home Depot by herself. Seven months pregnant. Right. The thing is, is that yeah, someone would help me. Right. That's a be- that's the nice thing about being pregnant. Someone sees me, they're like, oh, this poor woman, yeah. you know, so someone will help. And then they're like, what are you by, your, what's, where's your husband, sweetie? What would you say? I would say he's at home playing video games. <laughs> and well, then they'll be like, like no, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> well, why? Why is that? He doesn't, he doesn't believe in Christmas. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> really. He's Jewish. But this baby <laughs> will have a Christmas. I'm sorry about the Kanye comments. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> I did, um. Dude, I just I've gotten two spam calls since we started this. Anyone getting a bunch of spam texts? Uh, a lot driving of me nuts. Stuff, like, yep. Can we expect your support come voting day? Oh, wow. I got one yesterday. It said, uh, "Hi Thomas, I'm Tanya with Black Votes Matter. Early voting has started. Want your polling location addressed?" And I te- I texted back. I said, "I own several pairs of Yeezys. Does that matter?" <laughs> <laughs> and within two minutes, the response said, "Yes, the election is November eighth." You can find more info here. So you I'm not sure. She says it matters. I don't know how it does. Um, interesting text. They probably saw that you had the mixed girl in the video. They're like, mm, hey, let's yeah. throw him in the group text. He deserves it. <laughs> right? Yeah. See, I'm I'm cool. I'm hip. <laughs> yeah. I got I did inadvertently wear my a pair of Yeezys like the day, you know, that disaster happened. If you didn't see Kanye. I guess has been repeatedly saying anti-Semitic things and like doubling down on it. And he said some weird stuff. He's uh, like, I don't think George Floyd died because of, uh, you know, the, the police officer. I think it was drug overdose. Yeah. Was, like, well, we saw the guy's knee on his neck. You've watched the video. Like, <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't buy it. Yeah. I, I mean, he's clinically insane. Well, that's I've, part of me is like, why are we keep interviewing? They're like, yeah, he is diagnosed with severe bipolar. And then he, Sometimes is normal and sometimes says horrific things. And we're like, that checks out. Why is this happening? <laughs> Stop interviewing the guy. Did you see this last clip? Dude, I got sent this. Uh, so now he's kind of starting to apologize a little, but not really. Like, listen to, listen to this. That He just keeps providing content. The thing about the red hat that drove me to a point of exhaustion, which was misdiagnosed 
by a, I'm not going to say what race, what people, uh, doctor, and what hospital, and what media went to. We know I can't say that. It was a Jewish doctor. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I did not expect that to be the end of the sentence. Yeah, like, what? This guy is unbelievable. Is I mean, that sounds like a, a Daniel Tosh punchline yeah. or yeah. something. Like, that's an actual stand-up comedy. I'm not say it. I can't say it. And then he, there's this anti-Semitism brewing in him. He's like, I gotta say it! And then the Yeezys. Do it, are Yeezy, can I wear my Yeezys? I don't know. Really? <laughs> no more Yeezys? I mean... I don't know the full details of it. Do you guys, Do you know, Derek? What that's all? about as much as I know is what okay. you said, yeah. yeah. I, uh... But yeah, literally everyone's. He's done not with a billionaire them. anymore, right? Didn't his value go <laughs> below a billion? They apparently he lost like half to like two thirds of his net worth overnight or something. Hmm. Like that. And then he, he barged into what was it, Skechers? Oh or something? yeah, he did. He just barged <laughs> in, like hey, let's do a deal. And they're like, Kanye, get out of here. It's Wait, he just went to like a, a brick and mortar Skechers uh, store. And I went think he went to, to the corporate. I think it was okay. the corporate. <laughs> yeah, he went just to the yeah, mall. Like, yeah. y'all got someone I can help me. Uh, I need a ten and a half. And uh, an equity. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Million dollar partnership. <laughs> um, yo, what's their offices? Um, well, that's good at least. He didn't just go to one of its outlet. corporate offices. Yeah. Okay. Shoe carnival. I just like just to think he's in there. He's like, yeah. it's time to go to Skechers. Yeah. I mean, he needs <laughs> to have like his PR team. Mm -hmm. Someone needs to just like take his phone away. I mean, he needs to be kind of. Shut down a little bit. And probably medicated. I think he's like he's very open that he hasn't been on his meds in like two years. Okay. So that I mean, I think medicine uh, works. Right. Usually, mm -hmm. so it's worth a shot. Yeah. Apparently, he knows doctors. <laughs> Not gonna say which ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is too bad though. Pretty wild. So you should go to Zocdoc. Zocdoc. Yeah. <laughs> no Maybe kidding. He needs to find. Look at the reviews. Yeah. Before he's gonna he track down Zocdoc. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, that's find some reviews. <laughs> Top review. This patient was like, I went here. They did Kanye was reviewing on ZocDog. <laughs> um, anti Semitism. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of canceling, Gen Z, they they want to cancel the thumbs up emoji. Yeah, I've been seeing this recently. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's passive aggressive. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. They yeah, here it is here in New York Post. Gen Z canceled the thumbs up emoji, and they want to ban they want to ban some more. It's coming for the emojis. Gen Zers are calling out the popular thumbs up emoji for being rude and hostile. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, a Reddit poster confessed to being not adult enough to be comfortable with a thumbs up emoji reaction. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're saying the workplace is where it gets used. It's super rude if someone just sends you a thumbs up. I, d I had a weird time adjusting because my workplace does this. But you know what? <laughs> I kind of get it. It's like the Gen Z's K. Yeah. The millennials, we want to ban. You ever been to hit with a K? Yeah, it's awful. Yeah. Or, or KK. I hate KK even. Oh, more. KK. What is KK? People text that. Why? They never say it out loud, but they'll text it. I haven't gotten a KK in a while. Yeah. It's brutal. Brutal. I mean, and the ones oh. I really fear, KKK <coughs> makes me furious. <laughs> well, your barista <laughs> has texted yeah. me that before. Mm -hmm. um, older workers appear flummoxed by their reaction. Noting they use they use thumb up <laughs> thumbs up and chats all the time to say I approve or I understood. Uh, one anonymous office worker chalked it up to a generational communication cultural difference. That's funny that Gen Z's approach to this is like, hey, we my generation doesn't talk this way. Let's cancel it. I feel <laughs> like offended. It's it's aggressive. Where it's like, yeah, I don't like when older generations give me step by step directions, but I'm not gonna like try and. Like cancel them. I'll I know. Just Google it. This is this is <clears throat> tough. Again, I'm having a crisis here. Comment that I'm young. Uh, the they a survey of 2,000 people between ages 16 and 29 uh, believe these emojis mean you're old. Thumbs up, the red heart, the okay, the check mark, the poop emoji, the cr crying face emoji, the monkey covering eyes emoji, <laughs> the clapping hands, the lipstick kiss. And the grimacing face. <laughs> what do they use then? This is oh, Derek, you're <laughs> old. They use uh, it's a series of hieroglyphics. Um, it's hard to interpret. 
yeah, what are the what? Emo- I want to be cool with my. I did I did transition from the original laughing emoji to the more sideways laughing emoji. Yes, yeah, to appear. Tears. To, yeah, yeah, to appear to the younger <clears throat> kids. It's good. Is the original the original <coughs> laughing emoji is not cool? No. <coughs> That's embarrassing, Katie. Katie, Katie, Katie. Katie well, Katie. I am thirty, so. <laughs> Um, I, I try to, I try to throw in, I love the new salute emoji. That's being used a lot. That's pretty young and cool, right? Rachel's, uh, younger brother, Gen Z, he threw the salute emoji my way Friday. So I think we're Okay, good, good. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) We don't also have any intel. Keep us posted on that one. (laughs) The, uh, the upside down smiley. Oh, I like that one. Yes or no? I think that one's good. I shouldn't even do the thumbs up. Don't put that, yeah, stop, stop, stop. Yes or no? Upvote or downvote? Reddit. Mm Mm-hmm. The, uh. What about the, like, you know... The face, in your face, palm. the face palm. <laughs> I should have let you try and figure out what it was. <laughs> the, in, the, uh, the, the in your face, yeah, the yeah, bottom yeah, of your hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the melting emoji, I think, is a, a strong one. Melting? Yeah, he's kind of just melting. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, I'll hit, I'll hit a nice. Uh, remember this? Remember the uh, this guy? Oh, yeah. The thing. And then it was replaced with the detective monocle guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a fascinating world we live in. I don't use too many emojis. I'm trying to think of what gets used recently. Every now, if someone says something like that, I want to act like I'm writing it, jotting down a note. I'll do like the the hand with a pen in it, and you know, act like I'm like, don't ever say that again. Like I'm mm. taking a note. Uh, I've I've tried to level up my texting game. I will. I've begun to if I find hilarious memes, I'll quickly screen record it and store it in an album called Memes. <laughs> and so I'm equipped with a plethora of options in any. Texting scenario where I have excellent memes on hand. I've started to do that. Wow. And I'm, br- cool. I'm bringing a lot of value to text threads. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> what about the like, um, Let's see what I got going on. The bitmojis. Is that what they're called? Where it bit looks emojis. like you? Yeah, you should use those, oh, Katie. I yeah, those are really, <laughs> those are really in. <laughs> use know, the, I'm use the bitmojis. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> One of the last emojis I used uh, was for a caption. <clears throat> Greek life versus Greek life. So I'm clearly using emojis. Mm-hmm. I use a lot of Hasbula. In your memes? Mm-hmm. And see, I don't know if you, if you've ever... Remember the, the young kid Gavin? He's a big meme guy. Meme kid. You remember Gavin? Gavin? Give us a Google. Gavin meme. Now, obviously, he is now too old to be memed. He's not as a young, cute four-year-old. But he had some great memes. Remember this kid? Look at this. Um, oh... Yeah, remember him? Yeah, a while back. See what Hasbula has a huge advantage. He he's gonna look like that forever. Yeah. He has a he has a disorder that makes him look like a cute little kid his whole life. Um it's great for branding. Of, yeah. So he's kind of struck the jackpot. Gavin aged out of it, but Hasbula's here. He's gonna be here a while. Good for Hasbula. What is he? Russian? Yeah, he might not. Dagestani. Whoa, what is that? Somewhere in Russia. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. That. <laughs> You haven't? That's, uh, that's the place where all the great UFC fighters are. Dagestani. Cool. Republic of Dagestan uh, is a Republic of Russia situated in the North Caucasus of Eastern Europe along the Caspian Sea. It's right by Georgia, where Katie's from. Go dogs. Yep, I'm from there. Mm-hmm. Azerbaijan. Great. And I don't know these countries. All of them scare me to say. Uh... Elon bought Twitter. Elon uh, officially owns Twitter or running it, whatever it is. Elon Musk. Got it. Okay. Um, Thank you. So, I don't know. Do we do we love that or? I think it happened pretty quickly. I thought right? he was in and then he was out and then I just saw him prancing in uh, last week. So I guess he's in. I do like. I, I've been seeing that. I guess like people are standing outside of Twitter's <laughs> HQ holding boxes full of stuff, pretending like they just got fired by Elon Musk. That was awesome. <laughs> <It's pretty funny. laughs> yeah. They're like, on the news reporters are like airing these stories and guys will just make stuff up. That's great. And they'll air it. They think it's legit. They don't do any wow. like background research. It's great journalism. That They're is great. Like, this guy just got fired today and he just makes up this whole story. It up. is fun to watch it. Elon, he'll just, there was some tweet where guys like, looks like Elon's trying to fire everyone so he doesn't have to pay their annual like bonuses on November 1st. And he just tweeted back, this is not true. <laughs> <laughs> no. But it is a wild time. He's a very exciting person right now. I mean, he's he's like become the richest guy in the world. And he's just like, I'm just going to buy one of the most important social media platforms and run that. Yeah, I think it's fun. I mean, just like how often does someone this smart, this, uh, you know, like influential 
also feel so accessible and yeah, like also yeah. just like making their own memes and replying to like haters, you know, just kind it's of pretty funny. brilliant. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, I'm sure he's still got a fair amount of haters, but you know, it's like you look at Bezos or uh, Zuckerberg and you're like, that's a robot. I'm scared. They're going to blow us all up. Did you see like, Be- Elon? What a fun. He tweets. <laughs> <laughs> He does funny little jokes. What? Did you see Meta's stock go down? Yeah. Think, yeah. Oh, Big because time. Elon bought Twitter. Is that why? I think it's because uh, uh, their Kanye. VR, VR stuff's not playing mm. out. Yeah, it's... I uh, I read an interesting book a while back about like the big four companies and how at the time it was uh, Mike, Amazon... Microsoft, Apple, Google. Mm-hmm. No, not Amazon. It was it was Microsoft, Apple, Facebook, Google were the biggest four companies. Now Amazon and Tesla are there. Cool. And like Facebook's falling off. Wow. It's just, and then it was like, it's just every ten or fifteen years, like that big four it will change. And so it'll be interesting. Like, can what's next? Yeah, what's next? Because Amazon took over Walmart. Like Amazon's not going to be the biggest company in ten years. Amazon. Yeah. Oh, they gotta be. That's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. <laughs> it's hard to believe, but yeah. But most likely, given all the trends, maybe we're in some new trend where that's not. But what would that be? I could see NFTs, Amazon or Apple, like Always. taking over the other one. One of them will prevail. Mm. Like either mm. Amazon's gonna start making phones, mm. or like you know Apple's gonna have their own like you know database, or you know like Tesla's um, gonna start delivering same day shipping via their cars. Little helicopters. Amazon will. Yeah. Amazon did phones for a while. Do you remember those commercials with those obnoxious kids? They, uh, <laughs> I guess they, uh, they have the Kindle. That's, you know, a cousin to the phone. Mm-hmm. That, the Kindle <clears throat> sucks. Well, I don't know. You know what else I don't totally understand? Fire sticks, Roku, Chromecast. Why do, are there so do, many? Do we need these? They're or, smart TVs. A smart t- okay, thank you. I've never once Googled it, but I'm like, I, I think I know how the internet works. So like... Oh, I think I think they're just TV. I think they're just getting after uh, people like our parents. I think my dad proudly has fire sticks in every TV, and they're all smart TVs. <laughs> he proudly has. Fire so I'm very in confused <laughs> how that works. I've never used one, and I've never had any trouble. Yeah, watching exactly what I want to watch. So I'm just always curious, like how are these being used? Like what TV shows are these for? I think strictly, like to be fair, we have Samsung say, TVs, and like I think Samsung doesn't have the rights to like every. So I think there's yeah. one time we were wanting to watch a show. On when like I'm, Peacock, yeah, and yeah. Samsung doesn't have the Peacock app, so I had to annoyingly like Amazon a Roku plugin to watch a show on Peacock. I mean, that's a nightmare. Was that the exact scenario? Because I have Peacock yeah. on my TV at home. Do you have a Samsung? Yeah, I have an LG. Don't they it, don't have the ESPN app. It was Apple. It was, oh. So, oh, it was Apple. It was like the uh, now Apple, Samsung Apple does, TV. but I think for a while think. they okay. didn't. It was one of those. Yeah. Okay, so there might be some some blackout apps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Occasionally, All these weird riots are like. You or who who dropped YouTube? Um, YouTube TV lost the rights to ESPN for like forty eight hours. Remember that? <laughs> That's funny. During something huge, yeah. Too. Like, and I think it was like they probably saw immediately just tank. Like we've got to figure out the ESPN yeah. deal. I think they did. Well, Can't good, keep up anyway. Good job, Elon. Good job, Elon. <laughs> I don't really use Twitter, but it's just exciting. I l- just love change. It's just fun. <laughs> you love change. Yeah. Oh, yeah, giving it to homeless people, um, overthrowing democracy, anything, yeah. anything <laughs> is, is game. I think it's, it's awesome. kind of beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you like change? Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Our lives are about to change a lot. What do you mean? Well, Corpus some people. Christi. Yeah, some people say that when you add another human into your life, it changes. Oh, the kid. Yeah. Oh, oh, you would oh. actually know that you're adding a wife. Yeah, we're both having a kid. Yeah, we're both. <laughs> That's not what I way. meant. That's oh. not what I meant. No, no, we're both. Yeah, we're both. Adding another human. We both, into yeah, we both can do a home. lot less of what we want. <laughs> I see it in as, a way. Uh, it's like an employee. I can now yeah. delegate tasks. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yikes. Are we're, you not going to delegate tasks to your child yeah, someday? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, I think you can say that about a child. I don't think you can say that about a wife. Mm. I don't think it's gonna be against her will. Yeah, yeah. She'll. Mm. I mean, he can finally, you know, shave his back. <laughs> That's been hard for him. 
<laughs> Most of it comes down to flexibility, actually. Um, it's not right. that I don't mind. I can't reach. You can't reach. <laughs> Understandably, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. She puts on her six-inch heels. She gets above the oven for me. Mm-hmm. It's up there. Wow. What a... So that kid, yeah, we're going to have that kid. We'll have it forever, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, Lord willing. That <laughs> we will have the kid forever. What kind of numbers are you crunching right now? Are you trying to finance it or something? Or what are you, yeah, what are you thinking about? Yeah, the cost. It's opportunity cost. <laughs> It'll be good. Dude, that reminds me of uh, you would have, I was like, Trey would have been so on my side for any of these conversations. So uh, one of the reasons I proposed this weekend is because Rachel and I's parents were already going to come to Kansas City anyway to help work on this new house I bought. It needs a few projects done. So I can get the dads involved, you know. And I thought Saturday would, you know, propose on Friday. Saturday would be our day to just work on the house. Fun. There's a lot of painting, a lot of flooring that needs to get done. We work for probably 13, 14 hours on Saturday, just straight. Everyone, it's fun. And some of the stuff isn't getting done. And the dads and some of the brothers are stressed. They're just like, maybe we could wake up early tomorrow and do it. Maybe we, you know, I'm, I just keep doing like, you do not have to do this. This was a fun thing this weekend. Please let me just hire someone to do it. Mm-hmm. Here's an idea. What if I get someone who does this full time? Wouldn't that be so, you know, that wow. is heresy. It's like to they, two men they know who grew how up to fa- do it. Yeah. yeah. They grew up on a farm and they're like, no, no, no. There is one way yeah, to do like, it. Rachel, and take the ring off. <laughs> <laughs> Blessing revoked. <laughs> He's going to hire help. Uh, yeah. yeah. Trying to convince them to let me hire help to do this mm-hmm. was the hardest conversation. I was trying to like throw in metaphors. I was like, all right, I'm not getting through. I was like, all right, let's say you needed to edit a video. I bet you could get it done. It would take you all day long. Or you could pay me to do it in an hour. Right? Right? <laughs> That's got to get through. Right, right. Huh. Let me pay someone who's got like flooring on their business card. Yeah. I think they could finish this. Like, I just don't want you guys to be stressed. You're old. I know your back hurts. My dad called me this morning and I was like, how's your back? He's like, my back's fine, but I think I pulled my groin. Yeah. I was like, oh, no. yeah. On the floor? He was really getting down in there. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, oh yeah, it was quite the, when you said opportunity <laughs> cost, that just triggered me. I was That's like, great. Oh yeah, that was all Saturday. Oh yeah. They don't want to do it. it might, like when my son is our age and I'm like, what, it, what will be the equivalent? Well, I'd be like, son. Give me the goggles. Let me help you with your metaverse. <laughs> and be like, Dad, I can hire a metaverse. The plumber. AI bot can do it. The bot can do it, Dad. I don't think you even know. I'm like, well, back in my day, we had this company called Amazon. <laughs> it would do uh, it for you. Do it for you. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we we were gonna. They, our parents came up a little while ago, and they helped yeah. with a few things. And like both our dads like have bad back. They're yeah. both like, so they, they're like, we can help a little, but. Uh, my dad like actually up. threw out his back while he was while here. he was there. Yeah. So then he was like, "I can still help with projects." And I'm like, "No, it's okay. You don't. It's okay." Or yeah. like, you know. So instead, Trey and I carried a bed downstairs last week. <laughs> wow. Oh, so you didn't end up See, hiring anyone? So <laughs> yeah, we'll just. I'm just kidding. It, it wasn't that hard, but you can, you'll be able to carry a tree, no problem. Exactly. Oh, good yeah. tree practice. Uh-huh. Yeah. It was good tree practice. Yeah. I am excited to see how we age, though, because it is. I mean, it's just human nature, right? We're yeah. going to hang on to weird things that our kids are going to be like, you got to give it up. Mm-hmm. It's just going to be different things. I'm excited to see what I, it is. That's why I'm determined not to, man. That's why I'm, I'm reading the New York Post. No more thumbs up from me. Yeah, upside down. Reading emojis. the New York Post yeah. number one is <laughs> you should stop. No, I, have a, I get a hard copy every I, morning. I screen record yeah. memes. Yeah. <laughs> screen record screen memes. screen record memes. To stay up with the times. Yeah. <laughs> You question a girl's purple hair. I mean, that alone was, you know, a little bit of a I'm, boomer I'm, bend, move. I'm bending my gender. <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking about tweeting. You know, it's all part of the plan. Uh-huh. Big campaign. Stay uh-huh. young. Man, we need to get a... Do we have access to... Well, how, old, how old is Rachel's little brother? Uh, access. <laughs> he is a... Can I access se- him? A senior in college. Wow. Uh, I feel like we need That's a, younger. We need to be younger. Yeah, okay. I need an access to like a 19 year old. <laughs> just to, just like, a, maybe to be on retainer is like a, a consultant. Like an intern. Yeah. yeah. Intern. Wow. Then, then they're free, you know? Mm hmm. <laughs> and slash kind of like a, a PR, per, like they see everything before it goes out. Like, hey, are we embarrassing right, ourselves right, in right. any way? We got to stay young. It's true. We, we might need one of those. It's going to be tricky. You're going to have to. Mm-hmm. 18 to 20 year olds. Let us know. Hit us up if you want to be a cons- uh, Gen Z consultant. Gen Z consultant, we're hiring. We need, yeah, we are. I'm not. I'm not kidding. That's going to be very helpful. It doesn't pay anything monetarily. Um, what would they want? How could we uh, give them value? Metaverse. Metaverse real estate. Real estate. And we're good on that. We're good. 
we were joking this weekend about metaverse stuff of like, we started getting to talking about like, I don't know, I guess growing up, you know, reminiscing, you know, your first kiss or first, when did you first date? Da, da, da. And be like, our kids these days, what, which will be more important to our kid coming up? His first kiss um, in reality or in the metaverse? That is going to be interesting. It's mm -hmm. like, I got asked to prom, uh, you know, at the high school, but metaverse prom is the same night. Yeah. <laughs> Raven <laughs> XZY, yeah. we've been hitting it off. I mean, we had a we had a couple virtual lattes. Just kind of, so, <laughs> I hope we that went to virtual first base. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, who knows Yikes. what? Like, uh, yeah, the technology we'll get to. I mean, mm. you could like you put your hand in something and then like it moves like in in their living room. Oh my! You know, just like right. who knows what's available <laughs> knows? out there. Like yeah. the way that they do like uh like that robotic surgery. Mm, I'm see. thinking that kind I of see. thing. Uh -huh. I see. In someone else's living so room. So you could like virtually hug someone. I and I hope that's all they do. But yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. I think, you could I think you're going right. on a dark path. <laughs> no. That's why I've been getting a lot of flack for this because we I was talking to our OBG YN. YN. Good job. Why is there so many letters? What does it stand for? Uh, oh let Jake uh, Got it. You, yeah, so, Jake got it. Ovaries, babies, uh Gynecologist, yes, NICU. Good How'd job. I do? That's perfect. Yeah. That was at least three out of five. <laughs> <I'm> confident. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did I get any of them? Um, gynecology. So GYN is for gynecology. So it's not an acronym. Okay, the the question was voided. Then it wasn't yep. a full acronym. And OB is for only. Ob what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> only babes. Only babes. <laughs> Ob. Shoot, my pronunciation Obsolete. Is, is really going to... Oh, no, you have to today. pronounce it. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Pregnancy brain. I knew it. What is it? I, I was like, someone else say it. What is it? What's the... Pre um, pregnancy pronunciation. Shoot. So you have to say it. Don't think about it. Say it. Obstet obstetrics. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? There's a lot of consonants in there. Obstet... <laughs> yes. Say it. Say it. Say it. Obstetrics. Obstet... Oh. Obstetrics. <laughs> Thank you. Obstetrics? Do I, am I pregnant? I can't talk. Obstetrics. Okay, so say the whole thing for us. What does OBGYN say for? Well, OB stands for obstetrics. GYN stands for gynecology. So say it all together, please, just so I can know. <laughs> just I'm so all clear. Obstetrics, gynecology. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Dang it. <laughs> but I've, she's been getting ticked because I'm like, okay, how um, is it? Like, would you advise against me putting the like Oculus goggles on him pretty immediately? Because <laughs> that is the future. Then, like, we would highly recommend against that. And I was like, you're gonna hold him back. You're gonna hold him back. Uh, yeah. Could you imagine if if young our young son is adapted to the metaverse? I mean, within months. You know, they can. He like could walk within weeks versus <laughs> a year. What is it? When do they usually walk? A year? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, he'll be running around in the metaverse. I mean, honestly, though, babies can't see past like this for a while. Oh, so goggles would be so they, they great. actually yeah. can't see the goggles. What? But if? I think they can maybe only see like really contrasted <clears throat> colors at first too. So you really mm, have to turn fine. the contrast up. Con turn the contrast up. Yeah, mm -hmm. Derek can do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's smart. Get ahead of the times. I think that's a great idea. A lot of parents or would probably say, "Hey, I want to be very careful about screen time." You say, take the governor off, baby. Yeah, Let's take it off. How much we can get. Dive in. <laughs> it's going to be a cyborg. It's going to pay partly. dividends. Yeah. yeah, seriously. Yeah. And the longer we talk about this, I think Kanye West believes a lot of this stuff, too. <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. uh, I did hear him on a podcast recently. I did buy Yeezy baby shoes that uh, I got a great deal on. <laughs> Do you know, have you either guys heard of Lex Friedman, his podcast yeah. or anything? Is that AI Superman? Um, yes. Yeah. Lex yeah, Luthor's yeah, middle name. Oh, okay. He had the Pfizer CEO on recently. Oh, uh, did he? But yeah. He's like this Harvard nerd, but it gets a lot of guests. He has a pretty big podcast, but he had Kanye on kind of randomly. And Kanye just, I mean, within two minutes, it's like, we don't need to teach history in our schools. It's too subjective. And Lex had to be like, well, I mean, some of this stuff is, you know, a lot of people would see as factual. And Kanye's like, the winners, the winners of the wars wrote history. And Lex has to be like, well, I mean, there's some things we just know. You know? Yeah. Like, we just know. He's like, how do you describe to a guy? I mean, for 10 minutes, I think Kanye West had like subjective and objective, maybe just mixed up. And it just did not go well for him. He just kept being like, all we need to teach is engineering. And Lex is like an engineer. So he's like, man, I love hearing you say this, but you're but. pretty off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't, 
he's just he's just all he knows is the word engineering because that's a music term, musical engineering. Yeah, he's from like, like I've production. Done yeah, I'm an engineer. <laughs> I know how to mix engines. cool beats <laughs> of engines. Anyway, yeah, this is getting <coughs> a little similar to his ramp up stance. the screen time. Is there actually though like is screen time bad? Let's discuss. <laughs> Katie, parenting philosophy. Let's get you know, into it. Well, because with, with everything, the they're like, yet. the internet's um, bad. It's not going to last. Now it's here. I mean, just got just to keep ramping it up. I bet you could find any article to prove the point you want. Right. Mm. That's exactly. I mean, I think a lot of people say it's really bad, but then it's like in an emergency situation, your kid is screaming on an airplane. Oh, yeah. Throw that iPad. Here's an iPad. I don't know. I Oh, I'm going to hangle. I'm going to be. I'm going to dangle an iPad playing Coco Melon out like a carrot when he's born. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> you want Dude, to I, get gu- it. I guarantee you that pre- you, if you're in labor for more than 30 minutes, I'm like, get the Coco Melon. For more than, <laughs> for more than 30 be, minutes. He'll be out. Oh, no. Out he, of there. He has no he'll be, idea. He'll be arms first. Yeah. He'll, be, he'll be swimming out of it. He has no he'll idea. become a <laughs> clapping to the music. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, there's your epidural. Oh, I can't wait. The people, people be like, we try to keep him off the screen. I'm like, oh. Give him a couple iPads in case the first one dies. Yeah. Get him another one. <laughs> Is that why you ordered an iPad recently? Yep. <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> I am such, sometimes I'm such just a dumb guy. We went to the dentist and this guy showed us like, I don't know, something to do with the appointment on an iPad. I was like, those new iPads are pretty cool. <laughs> I, and I bought recently. one that day. <laughs> I, like, what? How pathetic am I? <laughs> I almost did that recently. Where was I? I was like getting checked in somewhere at like a... Where was it? Like a Nebraska furniture mart or something. And I was like, that seemed pretty efficient because they had an iPad. Yeah. Do I need one? It's like what I have, but a little bigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And some of the apps don't work. <coughs> I'll yeah. never forget buying an iPad five years ago because I was like, man, I am just, especially then, I was shooting everything on my phone. <clears throat> Half of my day, I was just like on Instagram and stuff, just mm-hmm. like trying to find ways to grow my following. And I was like, man, would it make sense? Get a, you know, get, get a nice iPad so I can look at a little bigger screen but then they ipad doesn't have apps yeah for instagram or some yeah. of them youtube so yeah. i remember i downloaded instagram and pulled it up and immediately was like welp <laughs> this was a waste of money yeah. this size on the like huge screen yeah it was the same size just like not even covering the screen and just like blown out because yeah it's all it, blown out yeah. yeah i was like oh i'd never used it i forgot about that yeah there were so many apps it's like have, has apple not prioritized the youtube app yeah. On an iPad yet? Speaking of like giving kids iPads, I've I used to have a hard rule like if I'm on a plane or something, I'm just, I'm gonna try to read, I'm gonna try to say. Now I give myself the iPad. I'm like yeah. every flight now, I'm just like Netflix. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, got that's them downloaded. Why you bought the iPad? Yeah, I've just given up on them. Ooh, is it pretty nice for the for the airplane ride? I could see. Yeah, so I, Kate and I especially will travel together. We started a trend of like I'll download a show on my phone and we'll like watch whatever show we've been watching together. So that I was like, I mean, we're on enough planes. We yeah. might as well. I know, Spend five hundred bucks to not watch on my went little on screen. hundreds of flights last year, and we we're both like on his <laughs> little phone. Sharing, it's like maybe we should have thought about this before. We each have an AirPod in one ear. <laughs> we have one AirPod in each ear. I mean, we could probably upgrade this setup. <laughs> Many flights were justified. On. That is funny. I mean, so I, everyone's like that. Though. You get in a rhythm doing something. Like, yeah. This is the way we do it. Yeah. yeah. And then you just need this one thing. It. You're like, oh my gosh, we're so dumb for not doing that. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Or guys, like though. even having like a a pop it or like a phone case or something that would hold it. You know, we're like oh, yeah, setting up a little, like turns holding little, it. Like, <laughs> you're, like, oh. like, you're like setting up something to hold it. You know, it's like, I mean, there are things for this. Oh, I, I lose my mind whenever you have you seen it, been on some of those new planes where they have finally adapted and there's like a phone stand yes. on it. Yes. But also what drives me nuts is they even get fired up if that's down on takeoff. Yeah. Hey, we're under like 10,000 feet. Can you put up a the two inch tray? thing <laughs> yeah. coming down? I mean, they just think people are just slamming their face on. Th- I've never understood the uh, flight attendants. They love the, the tiny amount of power they mm-hmm. have over you. They get to get boss that seat up. Get that seat up. Oh, please, oh, please. If you want, if you want the passenger behind you to survive this landing, <laughs> mask over the nose. Mask over the nose. What? Sorry, just to have it. Just to have it. Still say it. But yeah, I'm still ticked off at Southwest getting rid of the peanuts. <laughs> I every time they offer the pretzels, at least they updated a snack mix. They had a pretzel phase that was offensive. <laughs> Just bland, dry pretzels. I always go, no. I do remember being disappointed that they were like basically <coughs> not Excuse salted. Me. It was just whatever yeah. pretzel, just, you know, compact bread. Yeah. Sometimes they're a little stale. 
Yeah, it was I've hard. gotten a few plain snacks recently. Specifically, you know, I always want to go like Delta. They have almonds. I'm like, oh, that's a healthy snack choice. Gross. Two times I've gotten a package of rancid almonds. Rancid. Yes. Rancid. Is that rancid. really the term? Yes. What does that stand <laughs> for? Very bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you did actually. They're like I, expired. Usually, Katie is the the queen of anyone like this. The expiration police. It, mm. This expired two days ago. And I she'll can, she'll boil like, like it. burn it in her house. I'm like, <laughs> I it's can okay. taste it. It'll be fine. I mean, but the almonds. Yeah, I did try an almond, and it they were like, I didn't even know nuts could like go bad. They, they tasted what, rotten. They can go. They Gamey? go. Gummy? Yeah, they kind of go like Gamey. soury tasting. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's gross. Derek and I might like them then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got sour enough like a warhead. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you got to try these uh, gummies that Katie just. Katie's newest pregnancy craving is uh, like. Gummy snacks, which All is right. very weird. Which, yeah, yeah. Sure. I didn't. I so didn't eat those at all out. before. <laughs> those were good. Are they like healthy gummies? Healthy, supposedly, or, I mean, but it was just... no, they're Annie's, which is a organic brand. Yeah, but... Jake, you know Annie's. Yeah, uh, just... sophomore year homecoming. <laughs> Took both Annie's. <laughs> Speaking, <laughs> yeah. Speaking of one of the metaverse health, are you still on your like morning? "Quote unquote smoothie trend." <laughs> uh, oh yeah, no, my wallet. I was going to show you my punch card. I oh, love my punch card is talking for you. I think we've hit seven times. Tenth one's free. Wow. They actually catered his engagement party. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are we still doing the no sugar thing? Yeah, for the most part. Um, wow. Rachel made puppy chow for the weekend though, and that was oh, tough to resist. That is hard to resist. I, I do think still in what's been what two to three months now, I've not had like a dessert or a sweet by myself. You know when they say like the first time I've. You being an alcoholic because I mean, you do it by yeah. yourself. Yeah, right. So at least when I'm having sugar, it's like, you know, with people. Uh-huh. And they're like, hey, we went to Andy's. Here you go. Right. Um, or like, yeah, I made puppy chow. So yeah, still doing pretty strong. Um, Herbalife wise. Uh, How's your team? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <down there. laughs> it still tasted better than ever. And um, I, man, I don't know. Well, what I'm worried about is I'm always the only person in there. So I'm like, this store is going to go down at any second. Yeah, yeah. I got to I gotta enjoy it while it lasts. They're not going to be around much longer. I don't think they have a lot of business. They're struggling with their pyramid. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. started with the top. They don't have much of a foundation. But yeah, it's tasting great. Good powder. Great powder there. Mm. Shred that powder, <laughs> man. <laughs> it is great. So, uh, okay, let's get to some segments. Having a good time. Let's. Uh, it's been a little, been a minute. I was particularly triggered this weekend, uh, as you guys know. Oklahoma State, loud and proud guy. They, uh, they, they're good at football this year. They had a game during the baby shower. So that's on me. I should have given Katie the schedule earlier on. Uh, I was very, very pleased because immediately I'm like, well, that's during the game. So we're going to need to have that on. She's like, we're, no, it's not about football. And we showed up to the shower and they had like gotten it set up and they had a, they had wheeled out a TV on the patio with football on. Wow. How much did that annoy you, Katie? Um, yeah, I originally said no to that because you know we don't oh they even asked you about it because you were going to be in the shower yes how did it work i'm trying to keep up yes 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 i had originally said no um but it's fine it wasn't too distracting the volume was not on i don't feel like i was just worried that all the guys were just going to stand there and do what they always do they just stand there and don't talk and just like watch a screen do what they always do you hear you guys hear so much judgment in the tone Thankfully, it wasn't the case. I thought they just do their dumb guy thing. You're saying they're like dumb guys. That's really funny. They asked you about it and they still did it. Thank you, whoever did that. Um, But it all didn't work out, worked out because my team, who I was like, we got to watch this game, got beat in a historic fashion. They were down 35 to nothing in the first half. (laughs) So it was just like done immediately. But what triggered me too is so I'm, you know, we're in, we're in Georgia from her like hometown, bunch of Georgia. So Number one, this happens a lot. I don't know if anyone's in this situation where everyone's like, ah, I went to Oklahoma. Well, Oklahoma is our hated rivals. Yeah. Oklahoma State, they're very different. So that happened to me several times. And then people also, I guess it's your way to relate to you or like they kept kind of coming at me like like I was involved in the game. They're like, Trey, <laughs> what are we doing? What are you going to fix in the second half? What's happening? I'm like, okay, well, it is like a bummer, but I, I'm not involved in this. Or they, they would like, or I think they, some dudes get too involved in it. Like I was just immediately kind of like, well, that was, this is unfortunate, but mm-hmm. I'll move on with my day. And people were like, I'm sorry again, man, <laughs> man. Ah, I, I'm I sorry. Am, and I was like, uh, 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 uh. I mean, I I'm, I'm proud not a, of you. You're not like a, like if you lose, you're not like 
done for the rest of the day. It's there, become a pet peeve of mine. There's only you've only done that once. We were on tour. It was the um, a playoff or a bowl. Well, game. Oklahoma State had if they won this game, they're probably going to the playoff college football final. Oh and wow! They, yeah. I mean, just they were like had first and goal on the one and four and out. I mean, just the worst way possible to lose a game, <laughs> and that got me pretty just selfishly because me and my buddies are texting like I have this Airbnb in Miami, Florida, ready to book. It, yeah, we're gonna have the New Year's of our lives, and mm -hmm. so it was all frustrating for myself. But I, I was texting with my buddies the other day. I remember being like twelve and watching uh, Oklahoma State lose a bad basketball game, and I got in trouble because I cried about it. <laughs> Which thanks, Dad. But I remember crying like no, no. But I was like, all right, it's okay, buddy. And I just kept crying, and I, I think he's like, all right, hands on your knees. Yeah. This is ridiculous. <laughs> that was the day they're like, you know what? Maybe the Navy's not for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah, the SEALs thing. I don't know. And yeah, the when grown man, it, they're, especially college sports, they're 19 year old. Yeah. They're children. children. Which we'd love you as a consultant. Yeah. They have like they I have mean, marketing homework to do later that day. Right. They're like, this 20 year old quarterback, what, this guy's an idiot. You're yeah. Like, I'm like, I, he's a child. He's, he's a kid, pretty he's much. He's been driving for like three years. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he like just is able to vote I mean anyway that was all my triggered stuff leave me alone I don't care that much great unless I have money on it but yeah. I don't have a gambling problem oh I, by the way Jake Paul I believed in Jake Paul you bet on him bet on him he won good I'm starting to come around on Jake Paul I don't know he's pretty unlikable but it, it is insane that he I mean he he's good at boxing he's put in the time so just like hey we're good at stuff yeah. Pickleball, you're good at that. Emojis. Emojis. I'm getting better at my uh at my jogging. <laughs> good job. Yeah. Uh, my triggered <laughs> is going to be uh revolves around whoever owned the new house that I bought previously. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to like to have a word with them. A few things that come to mind right away. First of all, they won't stop Amazoning packages to the house. And you'd think after they do it once, like, ah, we need to change the address. They keep sending stuff. Um, second, uh, I bought a brand new washer dryer because they took that with them. That's fine. Happy to get new appliances. Use the dryer once. Uh, it will not turn on. It, like, fried something in the breaker. The electrician comes out. And it's like, yeah, I don't know how they ever dried anything. Your house is at risk for burning up at any time. <laughs> so I was like, how, yeah, how, oh did they, what do you mean? how did they ever use the dryer? I didn't do anything to it. I just plugged in a dryer, and they're like, yeah, this thing, the breaker is not strong enough to power a dryer. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I don't, how are they drying your clothes? Is there a clothesline situation? Well, one thing you'll learn about any... Any like tradesman you have over, you're like, check out this outlet's not working. They'll go, I mean, did you have a monkey wire the house? <laughs> this thing could go up in flames. They, no one's, it's insane. That's how they all, they love threatening house fire. Too. Right. Yeah. I feel like, like this place is, I mean, just ticking time bomb when it goes up in flames. And so, um, that was the thing. I was like, how do they ever dry things? And then, uh, we noticed recently that whenever the shower just runs at all, uh, there's a pretty significant leak in the basement. So it's like, did they ever shower? Or how do how are they showering? We haven't done anything that we just moved in. How are they? Showering? There's a rule of home ownership. I think all would agree. Derek, would you if you once you buy a house, several things have to go wrong <laughs> yep, within yep. a month. Mm -hmm. I mean, the studio mm -hmm. that, that I bought. Yeah. Uh, the uh, garbage disposal stopped working. The hot tub broke, and like the guy walked. I had to replace like the smart the motherboard on the hot tub. <laughs> I mean, just the whole <laughs> thing. Random, yeah. The pool cover broke. That's right. Uh, the AC we had to put it. I mean. Yeah, and it doesn't even feel like these things are breaking. It feels like, I mean, they, it feels like they already like this. Yeah, yeah. You know, which is like, were you operate? Did, did you like function as a normal adult? Um, what else is going on? Oh, the garage door didn't really open and close. Like both things were like off the hinges and off the pulleys. And it's like, were you just okay with this? Right. Like when we put the AC in this room, it was like, this was where they slept. And like, and there was no like ventilation. In so there. it was just, they just slept with it 90 degrees in the summertime. <laughs> like, I, I don't, I don't know how they did this. I think I would feel I a lot better know. if I could just talk to them. Yeah. You know, and be yeah. like, let's, let's walk me through this, Steve. Maybe they had a workaround. I even noticed like they had Google Fiber previously installed and like it's free to just get another port to put somewhere else in your house. That way you get full coverage. They had ran a wire from their Google Fiber all the way, like through the beams underneath the kitchen to have another one in the master bedroom. And it's like, all you do is just take another one that's free. <laughs> like, it just seems like everything they did was the hardest way possible to uh -huh. do something. 
They also just left a bunch of crap. They left a fully stocked fridge in the garage, like a second fridge, mm. oh. <laughs> just with like their children's drawings on it. And um, which is funny that you wouldn't put your kids' drawings on the main fridge in yeah, the house. Like, they, yeah, in the yeah, put them in the garage. Mm-hmm. So just triggered by the previous <coughs> homeowners. <coughs> they also completely renovated the house, but put cork in the kitchen floors and the master bathroom floors. And that's what I've had to work on the past few days. So. L- just the literal cork. <laughs> yeah. So if you have any bulletin board material, we'll just put it on the ground. Yeah, it's weird. It's like cork with like a little like Never laminate on top. So it's yeah. finished a little bit, but it is it's just bright orange cork. Everything else in the house is like newly remodeled, looks modern, looks great. Put cork floor. But hey, if you guys want extra, they left me some in the basement. Oh, okay. so, for our, our Airbnb properties, maybe. <laughs> yeah, cork, cork, cork the mm-hmm. wall, ceiling. We got extra cork. The whole right. mailing thing is tricky. When we moved, okay, I, I was, was very say, embarrassed. We had a dozen packages well, go to the whole house. Well, part of it is we moved like right around the time we got married. And so some people had our old address, and so they kept sending wedding presents to the old address. <laughs> or like a couple registries still had it. There was one where I, I think ugh. Katie forgot to like change it. Or maybe you didn't forget it was just messed up. Yeah. But I remember it was like we'd already gone over there like a dozen times. And this one was probably like four months after we moved. And I was like, Katie, I don't know what's going on, but you got to go get that. I, I, I can't. I'm it was it was embarrassing. So that there might be a situation like that where it's like they're really trying for that not to happen, but No, no, I'm saying I'm saying I'm saying Jake's right to be mad and we are stupid as well. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I, I know, so, but it was not intentional. I'm shocked that you guys made that mistake so many times. You're very on top yeah. of most things. Well, yeah, it's Katie's fault. I really don't <laughs> no, think I'm I w- I had gone and changed it. I it really wasn't. think that people yeah, had just like saved my saved the address and like used it when they sent gifts or whatever. Yeah. But did anything oh well. trigger you, Katie? Or you have a did you have a blissful week? Did I trigger you? Yeah. Well, so you know you can gamble in Kansas, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> oh, let's hear it. So on the way, this is the new triggered segment. Just, yeah, this is what Trey did this week. <laughs> yeah, the we we drive through Kansas on the way home from the airport. We're gone a lot of weekends, and on Sundays, we come back through, and we come back through Kansas. It only adds like a minute to the drive. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, you know. Okay. A little weird, but okay, that's fine. And then his app wasn't working, so we had to pull over. I was it's so... It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Just keep going. Just keep going. I want to It's fine. And then we get to the... We had to go to the store to make dinner, and then he's like still on his app, and I'm like trying to grocery shop, whatever, and then he's kind of like ignoring. So I'm like, all right. The you know th- third strike you're out like the, the, like yeah I got a talking can... to at the grocery store it's like it's one thing I drove through there I didn't say anything I pulled over I didn't say anything you're not gonna ignore me when I was like, oh it, I was it was funny how nervous I was because I was like do you could you drive and then we go through this alternate route so I could put a little money on this one game tonight she she's just like okay so she does it and I'm pulling up my app and I literally have to. I'm working with customer service. I don't know. Something happened with one app. So I like pulled up my secondary app and I like forgot that password. So I can resetting it and we're getting closer to going back to Missouri. And like, I like, stop the car. I very nervous. I'm like, I hate to do this. Could you please pull over for a second? <laughs> and she just didn't say a word and just quietly did it. And I was sitting there like trying to do it as fast as I could. I was so embarrassed. It's like my own wife. And I'm like, I hate to ask this. <laughs> could we please? Did you end up winning any of the bets? I... Uh, Broke even. Okay. I placed three bets. One I was most confident in. I bet twice as much as the other two. So I won that, lost the two, even. Nice. So fun. <laughs> so fun. So yeah. worth it. Riveting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Katie, before we go, can we get a quick update on the size of your fetus? It's time. Mm-hmm. And while you're looking that up, uh, baby a touch of this. Oh, and everyone's sure. like, what are you naming it? What are you naming it? Well, we're pretty sure we're going to name it. I'm the third. We're just going to go with the fourth. Mm-hmm. Simple. But then every, so everyone's like, you're going to call it four? Quattro? Oh, that's right. Quad? Yeah. Quad. Quick. Uh, Q? So let us know in the Q. comments. What do you call <laughs> a kid that's the fourth? Oh, cue ball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cue ball? That's what I'm going to call him. Q? Query? <laughs> Query. That's my granddad's It's a family name. name. That's a family name. <laughs> Hold on. Mm-hmm. Hold on. <laughs> yep. First name? His. So what's interesting is... In, this I've is, never this heard is, of This is my grandma's husband who listen to this. Hey, Grandma. Um, <laughs> her husband was named Franklin Query Byram. And he and he went by Query. Q-U. E-R-Y. 
Oh. Does he question a lot of things? Yeah, like you're searching something. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> like a search query. Things change. I, I was yeah. thinking about this. Like we, uh, I saw there's this football coach. His name's Sonny Dykes. Can he have that last name much longer? I don't. Like that's unfortunate think... when your last name is like a. Basically, right, but a you can't slur really, like, of a sort. Change your last well, name. Well, you oh, you, you can. Absolutely okay, can. you can. But like, and, you know, like what if you're? What if it was like I'm, Matt Nazi. <laughs> yeah, but like, you'd no have one's to last name is Nazi. I don't know. <laughs> Probably out there. That's too bad. Anyway, Grandma Byram, I'm sorry. I just I had never heard of that before. Okay, it took me by surprise. <laughs> just, just slightly in the moment. Now I know. Let us know. Okay, I'm sorry. Ford. It's fine. It's uh, fine. Ford spelled F O U R D. That could be cool. <laughs> Ford. Oh, as his name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, or Fjord. Fjord. <laughs> yeah, because that's not confusing. <laughs> okay. Let, let, okay. Okay. Yeah. So Let us know. This is, this is a little confusing. These size, these no. things are. So I'll start. Um, Wait, I did see uh, real quick. I did notice a, a recti in the comments saying, Katie, I've got the same app. Yeah. They're like, wait. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she said, my baby's the size of an olive. Also, Peter Pan's thimble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like you have no idea. So the thing that we don't know the size of that is the movie and TV prop. It's as big as the magnifying glass from Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Okay. Because we know exactly what size that is. Probably just any size magnifying glass, but good to know yep. it's from that that's one. That's a weird. Um, shape, also, yeah. this is the, kind of a fun and like a very good visual. Is um, a Furby. Oh, a Furby. Now that I can imagine. Yeah. I mean, I talk about peach. Oh, pose. dude. Do you, do you have <laughs> yeah, a Furby? <laughs> No. Oh, I had a Furby. No dude. way. Yep. Those Furbies, that blew I my mind. I did not. They kind of creep me They were creepy, yeah. the original. Alexa. I mean, this is creepy. <laughs> Show the McDonald's is, try to give them away. This is creepy. It's just, I don't know. Uh, that looks like the cork color. Yeah. Furby. <laughs> um, but that's supposedly the same size as a carrot. It's the basis <laughs> of a carrot. <laughs> Magnifying glass, Furby, carrot. They're so, they're so narrow, so oblong. Yeah. So I guess if you have like a skinny baby, it's a carrot. If you have a fat baby, it's a Furby. And if, if you, you have, have a like a disproportioned baby. With, baby. Yeah. A baby okay. with poor vision. A baby so. with a dump trunk. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the magnifying glass will be like me. Like I got made fun of. the One of the ways that I got made fun of as a young girl who was should be good. very skinny with a large head was <laughs> people said that I looked like a lollipop. <laughs> Also, a magnifying glass. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> takes after his mom. <laughs> takes after his mother. So that's if he takes after his mother. Um, <laughs> what I'm learning from this app is like, stop trying to com compare like vegetables. Probably like, there's only so many like foods that are actually in the shape of a baby. Well, I like to th I banana, right. picture people riding this app. They're just like, gosh, uh, we're running <laughs> yeah. out of veggies. I mean, the other app has the the fruit as a grapefruit. That's what I think. Just give us a circle, right? A Furby or a grapefruit. Those are great. Yeah. Easy to imagine. But yeah. also, I mean, humans aren't circles. It still seems way <laughs> easier to imagine. If you're like, that baby's a personal pan pizza. It's like, yep, I know exactly yeah. how big yeah. it is. You a say, Red Baron French bread pizza. <laughs> yeah. okay. Rising crust. You sure. got it. Sure. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in a circle for There'd me. We have an opportunity here. None we of these oblongs. Come, come so. up with a better app. We don't need these apps and veggies. The, the fruits and veggies. No, we do not. Just do anything, man. Derek, what's your favorite food? Uh, pizza. Pizza. Yeah, so Circle. That was, what's your favorite food? Uh, probably pizza rolls. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See? We just need, diff you know, he's the size of a calzone. Oh. What's your favorite food, Katie? Mm, it, I would, I would used to say ice cream, but I've been on a non-ice cream. Your ice cream. Yeah, yours is ice cream. Yeah. You're what about just, you? You're just in a weird whatever giraffe. Scene. What is mine? <laughs> uh, eucalyptus branch. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the pizza at a sports book. <laughs> what? The pizza in Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my favorite restaurants. They're all right over in the Kansas. <laughs> oh, we should go. Shocker. <clears throat> Has my cough been annoying, guys? Uh, mm -hmm. no, didn't notice. Sorry it. about that. I'm oh, good. Um, I, I didn't. We didn't see our uh, our good friend with the the st the stutter pregnancy. I don't think she commented back. So I hope she's doing well. Oh yeah, yeah. That was. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry about whatever we might have <laughs> said. Get last your week. merch. <laughs> get your merch. Um, we appreciate y'all as always. 
uh, keep us posted on what the baby's name should be and if we should cut the umbilical cord or not. Corpus Christi shows next week, next Friday and Saturday. That's right. See you in Corpus Christi, the great city of Corpus Christi. It should be beautiful down there that time of year. We don't know. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> uh, love you all. Appreciate it. Peace. Direct opinion.